am literally leaving my house right now. And we're going to drive mm, not even a half a mile, I think. It's not a good, good hike on the road to get there, so I drive up and use the parking lot. But we're literally going a half mile from my house to a trail and see what we can do locally at a time of day when maybe the light's not the best, but I think it's going to be, I don't know, something. I want to see what the leaves are doing here. So I've been thinking a lot about what my goals for photography are. I've been in a bit of a rut lately and it's tough because I come from a fine art quotes background and for me it has been always that battle between what people consider fine art and what I want to make as an artist and every I think I think that's a battle that happens to people who go to art school more than people that didn't go to art school so I'm sort of saddled with having gone to art school not that I'm not extremely fortunate for the opportunity to do so but it leaves you with this idea that you're chasing this thing that I'm not entirely sure is really worth chasing so um, as a photographer it took me years to really stop trying to make conceptual I don't want to call it artsy because I hate that term but like conceptual based um, fine art and if you're wondering what I mean by this think Art Basel in Miami or in Basel um, that's conceptual fine art you're never going to find landscape photography like we make at any of those kinds of things. However, that said, I have found myself battling that feeling lately, and I've been having sort of a, uh, a come to Jesus, if you will, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, that is me trying to decide what I want to do. Do I want to try to become a gallery artist, not necessarily conceptual fine artist, but a gallery artist that shows in larger galleries up here in Maine? Or do I want to continue to try to pursue the landscape work I've pursued for almost 10 years now? And, uh, and can I do both? Can, can one be interchangeable with the other? Or can one be the other? So it's an interesting conundrum I'm in. Let's get out on the trail and see what we can go find. Oh, too many desserts. Oh, give up. Hunting season has started here, so lucky I have my bright reddish orangish bright bright backpack. So I've become really quite enamored with trees that have fallen in the woods and and deadfall. I find there's a stark sort of beauty to it, a simplicity, and a real sort of philosophical connection to life and death. So I like this old spruce that has fallen here, and I like the moss in the background behind it. And though it's a little bit busy, I think I can simplify it enough to get that trunk with some of this great sunlight that is moving this way on the trunk with the moss in the background. So we'll see what we can set up. All right, 
So I'm gonna do a pulled back shot first, where I'm looking at this tree, this tree, and then the tree going off in the distance. Hopefully the dappling of light on that trunk and on this trunk and then on these branches will all sort of play together to make for a composition with two verticals and a diagonal horizontal going into the distance. We'll see. I'm a hand talker. For you who was bothered by my hand talking. And here's the shot. So, hoping we'll find more stuff today. If this is a one shot day, hey, you know, it can be like a YouTube short. And again, I have to scale it all weird to make that work. I need to learn how to shoot YouTube shorts. That vertical shooting is weird. All right, that said, time to move on. So this is the reckoning I'm having with myself. Fine art. What I was trained in, is that something I'm interested in trying to pursue? And is what I'm doing fine art? I know, all of this seems silly, but I think it's a, a struggle a lot of photographers go through, especially since the advent of cell phones and the advent of Everybody carrying a camera in their pocket has cheapened photography in so many ways that making an argument for fine art photography is difficult. That said, there's a lot of positives to where we've gone with the technology of photography. And God, did I think 25 years ago when I started down the film route as a commercial photographer that I'd be shooting these YouTube videos? Oh my God, no. <laughs> it's crazy. Did I think that I would electively be shooting black and white film because it was just a different medium of photography? God, no. So we've been given all these different amazing ways to express ourselves through the photographic medium. And there's so many good photographers. And that's just the most wonderful thing. It, it inspires, it pushes you harder. But remember, comparison's the thief of joy, so you try not to compare yourself. You just try to take part in the overall pool of what's happening. So, my reckoning is, do I want to be a fine art photographer that shows in galleries? this dead spruce here <clears throat> and you can see part of that same spruce is here on the ground and then there's these a white pine and a spruce coming up right out of the top of it I'm gonna try to put together a composition that sort of echoes death renewal and life so this is gonna be one of my that I call st stage like compositions all the actors are gonna be standing on the stage doing the thing they're doing there aren't gonna be any foreground or really strong background elements. There won't be a lot of leading lines. Um, there will be a grouping. I'm bracketing because there's a lot of contrast in this scene. This is what, uh, you know, I tend to only bracket when I really am unsure of the contrast levels like this. That mottled, mottled sunlight coming down is 
really intense and that mixed with these really dark shadows in the tree trunk uh, I think require it. So listen, if I don't find another shot, I want to thank you for coming out today. Um, it's been a really lovely walk. Early fall in Maine is unmatched. And yeah, I found a lot of nice things to just look at. Um, made a couple of photographs and had a great walk in the process. Had some squirrels yelling at me. And uh, so anyway, if you found this useful, please, uh, subscribe and hit the thumbs up uh, that's what keeps the channel moving and uh, going into fall i'm gonna be making a lot more videos so stay tuned i hope you come back and check them out and uh, yeah have a great day thanks for coming bye bye